All right. Okay, let's uh, let's proceed. Okay, I already opened my Photoshop. Okay, this is the first screen that you're going to see when you launch uh, Photoshop. Okay, so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the image. Okay, to open an image, you can go to File, Open. Okay, or you can press Control Zero. Uh, sorry, Control O. Control O to open, and then you find for this uh, image. The one, uh, the man is cutting the hair and so on. Okay, open the image. First, can you all open now? Yeah. Please open this image. Okay, done. Okay, Tila asking me to wait. Okay, I'll wait, Tila. <laughs> okay, please download the file and then, and then extract the file and open this image. Okay, sure, sure, take your time. Okay, basically what we, we will have uh, try to do is uh, something like this. Okay, we have a image of a person there and also we have a background image which is overlaying on the shape of this person. Okay, so we will try to do that using the image that we just opened. Okay, that's what we are trying to achieve for today. Um, you can use the same link to log in. In case if you are uh, logged out, right, you can use the same link to join back. Okay, let me close this. Okay, please open this file. Okay, please click the uh, link in the chat box <clears throat> and download the file. And after download, extract the file. Have you guys opened the file? I have done. Uh, Wong, can't hear the sound. Maybe your internet got issues. Okay, some are still downloading. Hello? Uh, yes, Angari? While you are waiting for others, can I share my screen? I don't know why the picture is very small and it becomes blur when I make it bigger. I don't know how to fix it. Would you mind to help me? Please? Yeah, yeah. Can you share your screen now? Thank you. Why like this? Uh, how did you save your image? Uh... It's this three. You have to download the zip file. It's like this. Would you want <coughs> to tell me how to? Okay, you see when you click. Okay, let me share my screen now. Okay. Okay, when you click the link, you will get this window, correct? It will open your in your browser. Yes. Okay, once you get this, you click on the download button. Can you see the download button? Yes. Click the download and then choose direct download. Okay. When you do that, it will download a zip file. Can you okay. see that? Can you see on my screen? PS yes. session 03.zip. After yes. that, you browse the file, show in folder. Okay. After show in folder, right click on the file and then choose extract. Okay, let me try once again. Yeah, for zip file, you don't have to have a WinRA. You can, uh, default Windows, you can extract the win, uh, zip file. Okay. It's not a raw file, it's a zip file. Okay, after you extract, then you open in Photoshop. Open this image in Photoshop. After you extract the file, open this image in Photoshop. You go to File, Open, and then choose the file.
Shall we proceed? Yes, thank you. Okay, okay, I'm going to continue now. Okay, the one we're going to do is we're going to cut out this person and then we're going to overlay with some image or inside this uh, shape and also partially of the face will be seen. Okay, and then at the lower part, the image of the background will be fully seen. And the background here will become a white color. Okay, <clears throat> so it's going to be something like a, a, a movie poster. Okay, not exactly movie poster, it's something like a movie poster. <clears throat> and then we will add some text. Okay, so when you are doing a movie poster, right, or any image, or maybe you want to post it in a social media or whatever, you need to set the document size first. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new document. Okay, and the new document, we need to set the correct size that we want. Okay, in this example, I will create a A3 size. Okay, to create a new document, I go to File, and then I go to New. Okay, File, New. Okay, and then you will get this uh, new option box. Okay, in this new option box, what I do, I change the document type to uh, paper or international paper. Okay, some of your interface might be different. You can choose print. On top of the menu, you will see a print. Okay, click on the print and then choose a A3 size. All right, so I want you to create a new document, change the setting to print or paper, and then the size change to A3, and then you click OK. Okay, let's say for example, you are doing, uh, you don't want an A3 size, you want to do a different size. Okay, also can. You just have to change your unit to whatever unit. It could be a millimeter, centimeter, inches, or even pixel. Okay, when it comes to pixel, okay, when you're creating artwork for social media or screen or devices, or maybe for TV, you need to change the unit to pixel, and then you set the, the width and the height accordingly. All right, if you're if you doing for social media, and then you're not sure what size to put. For example, you want to do uh, artwork for uh, Instagram or maybe you want to do for artwork for uh, Facebook post. Okay, so you can always go to Google and then you type Facebook post image size. Okay, and then you will get the units in pixel. Same goes for, let's say, Instagram. You just type uh, Instagram story image size. Okay, you will get the number from Google and then you just key in the value over here. Is it clear, guys? Clear. Yeah. All right, so in this example, I'm going to create a A3 size. Okay, choose A3 and then click OK. Uh, go to File, New. Gi Ramli, go to File, New. Okay, go to File, Main Menu, and then choose New, and then choose a A3 size from here. Okay, and then click OK. Can you all do that now? Okay, thanks, Chris. Some more. And the color mode section, what should we change? the bit. You can maintain as a uh, 8-bit. Okay, and then the color should be RGB. Okay, so I, I didn't change anything actually. If I go to new, okay, we have our size here in millimeter, and then the resolution is 300, color mode is RGB, Okay, here you can choose uh, eight bit also can. Okay, and then background you can leave it as white color, and pixel aspect ratio square pixel. All right, then you click OK or create, then you'll have this document. Anyone's document is in in landscape or not? Okay, what is the difference between 8-bit and 16-bit? Okay, 8-bit, when you have a RGB color, only color, 
then you can choose 8 bit if you have a, like a, if you have a, a alpha channel which means the transparency then you can choose 16 bit Shahrim Jasmine. There is a, you go to file and then choose new. Uh, Navinash, what do you want me to repeat? Navinash? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Navinash. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how to put the land, uh, landscape image to be the white background. Uh, is it yours is landscape, is it? Uh, yeah. yeah. If it is landscape, you go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees. You choose any one of it, this. Rotate 90 degrees. How about the white background? White color? Yeah, the background is white, right? How to make it white? Uh, when you go to file new, right? Yeah. Okay, you have background content here, white color. Yeah. Can you see the white color? Yeah. You change this to white color. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, can't find international paper. All uh, right. Yeah, Sharin, please share your screen. <clears throat> share your screen, please, now. Shahrin. <clears throat> okay, go to new, file new. Okay, those who, who don't have the document file like mine, right? My uh, UI is different a bit. Okay, you go to print. Can you see on top there? There is a saved photo print illustration. Okay, click on print and then choose A3. Okay, can you see view all preset? View all preset, click on the view all preset. Then you choose A3. When you click A3, okay, click on the A3 now. Okay, can you okay. see on your left hand side, on the right hand side, there is an orientation. There is a portrait there is a and landscape orientation. Okay, if it is in landscape, you can choose a portrait. Okay, we want a portrait size, not the landscape. Is it clear, guys? Yeah. yeah. Then click create. Move your window Move your up window. a bit. Uh, click create uh, at the bottom. Yeah. Yes, create. Yes, create. yes done. Yeah. Okay, got it, guys? The rest of yes. you? Got it. Okay, stop share. <coughs> okay. okay, after you have done your new document, okay, after you have done your new document, you go back to your previous image, you can click the file name on top. Okay, click the file name of this image. All right, to navigate inside uh, Photoshop, to zoom in, you press Ctrl and plus, or you press Ctrl and spacebar to zoom in. Control spacebar and click to zoom in. Or you can control spacebar, click and drag your mouse. Control and spacebar, click and drag your mouse. Can you try that? Try that.
Okay, any problem in zooming in, zoom out, zoom out? Okay. So control and spacebar. While pressing control spacebar, you zoom in. After that, you just press your spacebar only. You click and drag to pan in your image. Okay, to move around in your image while it's still in zoom mode. Can okay, guys? Just press the space bar, click and drag. Can? Okay. okay, thanks again, bro. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to make a selection only on this person. We don't want the background. All right, then after we make selection, we will take this image, this man's image, and we will put it in the untitled document. All right, so to make selection, I'm going to choose uh, this tool, quick selection tool. Okay, the tool uh, number four. If you click and hold the tool, you will see more option and you will see the name of the tool, quick selection tool. Okay, choose quick selection tool. Okay, and then when you bring your cursor to your document, you will see your cursor. Okay, to increase or reduce the brush size, you use your uh, square bracket in your keyboard. Okay, to increase and to reduce. You can try both the uh, uh, bracket there in your keyboard. Can you try that? You adjust the size a bit so that we can use this brush to make selection on this body. Try to increase and reduce the, the brush size. Uh, sir, can you repeat it again? You choose your quick selection tool, quick selection tool, and then you increase the brush size by pressing the, the bracket, open bracket and close bracket in your keyboard below the backspace button. Okay, so when you make it bigger or smaller, you can see the circle become bigger and smaller in your screen. Can? Can we can? Oh, can, can, thank you. All right, okay. After you adjust the size, okay, take a look at my screen first. Don't do anything. Take a look at my screen. Okay, I'm going to use this tool, quick selection tool, to make selection. So what I do, I just click and drag inside the body's area. Okay, something like this. Then you let go your mouse. Okay, once you let go, it will select the similar color. All right, and then you can zoom in uh, nearer a bit. Then you make uh, refine the selection. Okay, so for example, you see my, uh, my selection, it has selected the hand as well. Okay, so let me zoom in for a while. Wait for a while. It's taking forever. Okay, you see when I click and drag, it selected the hand and also some of the part is still missing. Okay, so I zoom in and then I paint some more on the shirt. Okay, just click and drag. Okay, why, why it's taking a very long to make selection? Because the image is quite high res, high resolution image. Okay, that's why it's taking a longer time to make selection. Let it to load first. Okay, can you try to make selection? Is it also slow or is it my PC only slow? Can you try that? Just click and drag on your uh, document here. Can you try first? Coach, if you want to negative, how to do it? Alternate. Uh, press alternate, click and drag, or you press option in your Mac. Okay. 
while pressing option key, you click and drag to remove the selection. Okay, if uh, yours, uh, who else, uh, the, the process is very slow. Who else? It's very slow. Other than Yogendra? Okay, if it is very slow, right? Okay, what do you do? Okay, you reduce the image size. Okay, how to reduce the image size? I'm going to cancel here. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, sir. Yeah. Sir, just now you say the quick, after the quick selection, then what should we do? You click and drag on the body. On the face and then on the shirt. <clears throat> uh, okay, I've done that. Then, is it slow or fast? Uh, very fast, quite fast. Okay, if it is slow, right? Okay, if it is slow, what do you do? You go to image, image size. Okay, the pixel is about three thousand. You, you change the width to two thousand. Okay. Change the width to 2000 and then click OK. If your computer is slow. Okay, I think I know why mine is slow. I need to close my Photoshop and open back. Okay, so you make your image size smaller. Then when you make selection, right, then it will be a bit faster. Uh, still slow. Okay, hang on, guys. I need to restart my, my Photoshop. Because uh, previously I was using my Photoshop, so that's why it has uh, it's taken up the memory a bit. Let me close first. <coughs> okay, hang on, Lata. <coughs> Yeah, I'm opening back my Photoshop. Hang on. How do I control the minus and plus? Uh, because every time I want to minus something, it goes too much further below. Um, how do you do that, actually? It's not the hand, right? It got selected. So when I want to minus, it goes right up to the face and the head hole also is get deselected. The hair gets deselected. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on now. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, AJ Kati, yes. If you use your Photoshop for a long time, few hours, okay, and then it will start to lag, okay? And then when it happens, you close your uh, Photoshop and then you open back. Okay, it, this thing will happen to all the softwares. Most of the software, not all, most of the softwares. Okay, so, okay, I already opened back. Uh, not only for low end, high end PC also the same thing will happen.
Okay, so now I already opened my document back. I use my quick selection tool. Just take a look first. Okay, first thing I click and drag on my this uh, guy here. You see now it responds much faster. Can you see that? After I op close and open back Photoshop, it's re responding much faster now. All right. So you just click and drag <coughs> to make the selection. <coughs> when you're doing selection, right, don't click on the edge. Okay, you just select the inner part of the, the man here. Something like this. Don't click on the edge. Let's say you accidentally click on the outside, the background. Something like this. Okay, so to remove selection, you press alternate or option key. You click and drag to remove the selection like this. Then you let go and then click alternate and click and drag again. Okay, and here as well, alternate click and drag. Okay, you can zoom nearer, reduce the brush size a bit, alternate, click and drag again. Okay, try again, alternate, click and drag, alternate, click and drag. Okay, something like this. And then I zoom out. And the hand area here, I zoom in. Okay, press alternate, click and drag. Okay, alternate, click and drag. So now you see some of the hair also not accurate. So you just paint back the hair area. Okay, something like this. Okay, and then you check, check all the part. If it is correct or not. Okay, space bar, click and drag. While pressing space bar, you click and drag. Okay, this hair area, you ignore first. Later, we will refine it. Okay, so I'm going to paint a bit over here. And then check the entire area. Can you try now? Try again now. Okay, if done, let me know. If you've got a problem also, let me know. After I try earlier, right, you cannot uh, click back again. I don't know why. Can I share my screen? Yeah, sure. Share your screen, please. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Okay, can you see on top there, it says minus your quick selection tool option up there on the top. Minus. On the top. Yeah, there is three button there. Choose the middle one, the, the one got plus. Yeah. Now start to paint. Okay, let go your mouse. goes back to minus. Ah, okay, click. Uh-huh, again, paint. Let go your mouse. Um, okay, let's see how it is. Okay, now can I read? Okay. 
Okay, so okay when you when you are doing selection, right? You don't have to paint the entire thing at one shot, but you can go bit by bit. You click and drag a bit, let go, so that you can see the selection first. Okay, and then click and drag a bit more. Okay, okay. and then let go. Click and drag, uh, drag a bit more. Let go your mouse, and then you keep on continuing. Okay, so here on the hand area, you press alternate, click and drag. Make sure you don't click at the border. Okay, the border between the background and this uh, subject here, don't click at the border. You just click at the background only or the inner part only. Understand. Okay. Okay, try. Okay, who else got issues? So, okay, my selection is done here. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Okay, on the hair area, okay, you have very tiny, tiny hair here, right? Very fine hair. Okay, so we're going to use a refine H2. Okay, so while your quick selection is still on, if you look at up here, you have select and mask. You choose select and mask. Okay, and then you go to property panel here. You have view, click the small arrow pointing downwards you change it to overlay. Okay, you'll have a like a, a red color uh, masking. All right, once you have this, you choose your the second brush here. On the left hand side, you'll see a row of tools here. You choose the second brush to refine the edge and then you just paint at the border of this hair. You see, when I'm painting, right, it will automatically select only the hair area. Okay, if it is not selecting, you press alternate and click and drag to remove selection. Something like this. Then let go your mouse and then try to paint again. Can, can you try this? I'm going to repeat one more time. I go to cancel first. Okay, so after you have your selection, you zoom in to the head area here and then you click on select and mask. Okay, and then change the view to overlay. Okay, click the small arrow here, choose overlay. After that, using the second brush, the refine edge brush, and then you paint on the border of this hat. Okay, something like this. Keep on painting until you cover the entire hair up to here. Okay, and at the back of the head as well, a little bit. Something like this. Okay, so if you have accidentally selected more, you press alternate, click and drag. And here also, alternate, click and drag. Can you try this now? For older version, you have a refined edge. You don't have a select and mask, but you have a refined edge. Okay, if done, let me know. Try first. If you've got problem, let me know. Yes, correct. You need to use your uh, refined edge. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, I couldn't uh, find to take the picture on the screen. You couldn't find what? A picture on the screen. I was finding many ways to find it. You couldn't find your picture in your screen? Huh? Yes. What do you mean? Like, uh, I can't take like you. Can you share your screen? Refine age and new layer with the mask. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, Lata. I need to see the option. You need to open. 
you need to open the image. Go to File, Open. Open. O P E N. Open. Uh, where is your image? Have you downloaded the image? <laughs> uh, how old are you, by the way? Uh, 13. 13. All right. Okay, have you downloaded the file? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? No, that, that, that is not, that is Dropbox. Where is the file, the zip file? Okay, 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 go up, go up. There is a PS, 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 huh? Can you see the yellow color box there? Okay, you're supposed to extract first. You try to right click, right click on that file. Right click. Not double click, right click. In your mouse, got two buttons, right, left, and then right. Click the right button. Can you click right click? Can you right click or not? Yes. Well, yes, I didn't see anything. Oh my God. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can you allow me to control your screen, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see, huh? can or not? Okay, can you see this extract? Extract all. Okay, so I'm gonna choose extract all. What do you have done? What do you have done? Don't do anything. I'm I'm using your computer now. Oh my god. Uh, can you uh, what what are you seeing there? Charanka, what are you seeing there? Okay, I'm going to stop the sharing now. You are not responding. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, you have to extract the file, then only you have to open the image. Uh, but Ma, actually you can extract that way in Photoshop. Photoshop can. All right, you can do whatever when you open the file, you can cut, you can copy, paste, file. Okay, all that, you can do that like normal explorer in Photoshop, all right? Okay, after you make the selection, uh, okay, there is a question just now, right? Lata, Lata, can you share your screen? Lata, are you there? Lata is not there. Share your screen, please. Lata. Sharanka, please mute your mic. Okay, oh, let me see. Can you paint at the edge there? Can you paint it? No, no, no. Go back to refine edge. Uh huh. Try to paint on the edge of the hat. Make your brush size bigger. 
bigger uh -huh, yes paint start to paint on the edge yes uh on the border on in between the background and the head cancel cancel press cancel cancel uh, uh press a uh, reset Lata, can you let me? Okay, don't do anything, please. Don't do anything. Okay, I click on the refine edge. Okay, and then can you see the cursor? You put in between the head and the border. Okay, this is not okay. Let me see. Uh, refine radius, it is there. Okay, this is older version, right? It's not uh, very, uh, what you call, uh, so perfect. Okay, so we'll have some, some uh, problem with this tool. Okay, so what you do, you just check the uh, smart radius and then try to adjust this. Okay, and also in the view, you change it to overlay so that you can see both background and the, uh, your subject. Something like this, you see? We don't want the red color to be here. So I press uh, alternate and then I remove some of the selection here. Okay, alternate, click and drag. Okay, here you see it's a bit uh, fine right now. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. Okay, here it's a bit better now. Okay, I'm going to reduce the brush size and then try to paint on this area, see whether it works or not. Okay, and then press alternate, click and drag at the inner part, something like this. Okay, you can't edit much because uh, this tool is not powerful at the beginning. Okay, or a uh, new version, it will be much better, but you still get some result from here. Okay, so once you have done, adjusted a bit, and then you can try also to adjust the radius from here. Okay, you try to adjust the radius and then see the result. After you increase, you take a look at here. Okay, after you also can try to adjust the smooth feather contrast shift edge, you can try all that. And also you can check this, decontaminate the color, and then it will automatically adjust for you. All right. For those who are using an uh, older version, you can do this. Okay, so after done, you just click. Okay, so here output two. If I choose output two here, it says a new layer with layer mask. Okay, also can, no problem. Okay, or you can choose new layer, also can. Okay, let's say for example, if I choose new layer, output to new layer, click OK. Okay, it will create another layer from the selection. Can you see that? Uh, why there is no... Uh, why did it move? Sorry, one second. Huh? Let me see. I'll put to. Okay. You just maintain selection. I don't know why the image actually moved. Okay, output to selection. Let's see. Okay, I don't have an option. When I decontaminate color, it doesn't show me uh, allow me to uh, do selection. So I just uncheck this and then I choose selection. Okay, when you choose selection, it will be a another selection. Okay, can you all do that? Okay, so this is done. Just hang on first. Wait for a while. Few options on the property panel. May I know what does the other option mainly use for example, matching ends option? Okay, hang on. Uh, let me see. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, radius. Okay, you can try. Uh, this one, 
is basically refining the selection only. Okay, while you're in the overlay option, you try to adjust the radius and see. Okay, and also smooth, feather, contrast, shape. Uh, uh, what else option do we have? That's the only option. See, global, output. Okay, nothing else. Okay, so you can try an error with this. All right, so I, I don't want to restrict you. You can try an error. While you are adjusting, you take a look at your selection, the red color border. Oops, so sorry, my mistake. Okay, thanks for letting me know, Kavita. Okay, so here, when you're adjusting the radius, right? Let's say, for example, I increase the radius. Okay, once I increase the radius, I need to check on my this border. Okay, so if I now I don't see any difference, I go to zoom in, zoom out a bit. Okay, so if I put the radius zero, okay, you take a look at here, and then I choose a maximum value, 250. Can you see that? Here become red color, here become dark color, which we don't want. Okay, so this radius, okay, it adjusts the blending between the background and the foreground. Okay, so if I reduce further, you see, here I still can see some red color, which we don't want actually. Okay, if I reduce further, I don't see the red color. If you still see, then you press alternate and click and drag to remove the selection. Alternate, click and drag to remove the red color. All right, so that's why I, I normally don't adjust this. Okay, I just use my uh, paintbrush to do the adjustment. All right, then after you have done painting, you are happy with the selection, you click OK. Once you click OK, you will have this selection. Okay, once you have this selection, you go to the layer panel, you press Control J to make a new layer from the selection. Uh, Shahreen, how do I go to this selection? You use your quick selection tool and then select and mask. Okay, can or not guys? After you make the selection, pre, uh, press OK in the property panel and then press Control J in your layer. It will create a new layer from the selection like this. Can you do that now? Okay, I undo back. Okay, I undo back. I have my selection. Okay, when I'm doing the select and mask, okay, I already refine my hairs. Okay, after refining the hair, you click OK. Okay, click OK. When you click OK, you will get back your selection, number one. After you get your selection, you go to layer panel. Okay, can you see my, my cursor on the layers? Okay, make sure your background is selected. Press Control J. Control J is layer via copy. Go to layer, new layer via copy. Shortcut is Control J. Yes, you must select only the person. You shouldn't have any background there. Okay, so the result is something like this. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter if the men uh, become uh, red color. As long as you can see the red color and not red color. Actually, you have to inverse. Uh, no problem. Uh, what other way, Prasanna? Example? Prasanna? Uh, yeah. Mm, instead of uh, doing masking, uh, can I do, can I uh, background? Can you what? 
uh, erase the background. Uh, can. Uh, and can then uh, and uh, do a quick quick uh, selection. Can also can can. Can ah uh? okay can. thank you thank you. Okay, to make a selection in Photoshop, there are uh, many ways. One of it is using quick selection and select and mask. Okay, normally I don't use this. What I do is uh, I use pen tool. Okay, when you use pen tool, the selection will be very accurate because you will control the selection. Okay. I can't get the layer one. Okay, you need to select the background. You have to press control J, shun. Control J. When you press Control and J, you will get layer one. My zoom oversized. Okay, you just zoom out. Zoom out. Remember, just now we uh, we practice zoom in, zoom out, right? Why you never practice earlier? Shahrin. Control and minus. Shahrin, press Control and minus in your keyboard, or Control and zero. Can? Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Sir. Okay. All right. So now you only have uh, this uh, uh, man in the layer one. Okay, then what I do, I use my move tool, use the move tool, and then select the layer one, click and drag, bring it up to the untitled one, don't let go your mouse, bring your cursor down, then only you let go your mouse. Can you do that? Okay, yes, I, I repeat again. Yeah, I repeat again. Okay, from here, you already have layer one. Okay, using the move tool, click on the move tool, click from the, the center of this person here, click and drag, click and drag, don't let go your mouse, don't let go your mouse, bring your cursor to the untitled document, bring your cursor down, then only you let go your mouse. Can you try? Okay, done. How about the rest? <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Coach, can I share my screen, please? Yeah, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Coach. I don't know why this long hair come out from here. <laughs> <laughs> you use your eraser and then erase that part. Eraser? Mm -hmm. Make a bigger brush, bigger brush. Okay, bigger brush. Increase the size. Use your shortcut key. Yep. Oh, how come, how come yeah. this hair can come on? I have no idea how you do the <laughs> selection. Okay, thank you, Coach. All right. Okay. Anyone else got, got problem? Anyone else? Okay, great. Uh, any question, please ask me now. Yeah, you have to practice a lot. Lah, huh? uh, no worries if your selection is not perfect. Don't worry. Okay, you can try again. Try again, try again, try again. All right, practice makes perfect. All right. Okay, after you have this, okay, I'm going to reposition the this layer one. Okay, to reposition, I can use move tool and then I can bring it down to somewhere around here. 
okay so that it's sitting aligned with the our document here and also if you want to enlarge this you press Control t Control t is pre-transform if i go to edit i have pre-transform shortcut is Control t okay i press Control t and then i drag from the corner if you are using older version cs5 cs6 you need to press shift when you're making it bigger while you drag press shift but new version you don't have to press the shift key let's say i make it bigger something like this then press enter to apply the transform okay can you try Do you want me to repeat? Yes, please. <clears throat> okay, I undo back. Okay, I have this image now. I go to edit, choose pre-transform. Okay, and then I have a, this rectangle box here. Okay, and then in, from the middle here, I can click and drag the image, bring it down until it is aligned with my document, number one. And then from the corner here, I just click and drag to make it bigger. Then to apply the changes, press enter. Okay. Try. Done. How about the rest? Okay, Chris done. Done. Kavita done. Nurul done. Okay. Okay. We I'm gonna proceed now. Okay, so now we're going to open the the background that we're going to use. Okay, go to file open. File open. And then choose uh, which image did I share? I think the sky and the uh, green color, right? Yes. Okay, let's say I take this, uh, uh, what you call it? This uh, lake uh, view with the sky. Okay, so after I open this file, I use my move tool, click and drag, click and drag, don't let go your mouse, bring it to the untitled, bring your cursor down, then you let go. Can you all do that? Yes. Do it now. If you need me to repeat, please let me know. Yes, sure. Okay, let me remove this layer. Okay, first of all, you need to open this image. Okay, to open this image, you go to File, Open, and then select the image. Let's say I want to use a different image, let's say, the other image, the green color one. Okay, so I open first, then I click on the Move tool, click and drag the image, click and drag. Even though it is not moving, you just keep on dragging until you reach your untitled document, then bring your cursor down, okay, where it says a plus icon there, then you let go, your mouse. Can you try? But the size is different, huh, Koja? Yes, yes. It's okay, it's okay. Sai Ramya, are you done? <clears throat> okay, so after you place the image, right, you have to reposition it so that you choose the right position to overlay with your image. All right, so if you're not sure how, where the position, it's okay. Make sure you put your layer on top. Let's say I don't want to use this image. Lah. Let's say I remove first this image. 
let's say I take back the original one, click, drag, and then drop it here. Okay, make sure this is a layer two sitting above the layer one. All right, and then you readjust the, the size or the position, something like this, let's say. Okay, make sure it covers the, the man entirely, something like this. All right, after that, what you do, you select your this layer two, and then bring your cursor in between the layer two and layer one, press alternate and click. Oh. Okay, press nice. alternate and click. Select. Got it? Select in between alternate and click. Come again. Select the thing then go out in between. Ah, in between the layer, in the middle okay, of so uh, the layer. Yeah, I'll repeat one more time. Okay, so now you, you have your image here. Okay, take a look. Those who didn't get it, take a look first. Select this layer too. Okay, take a look at my cursor. I press alternate. While pressing alternate, move your cursor. Don't click. Move your cursor until you see a uh, an arrow pointing downwards with a, a rectangle a square shape. Then you click. Can you try? Do you want me to repeat again? Uh, why mine can't do it like that? Why yours can't what? Do it same as you. Okay, I, I'll repeat one more time. Take a look at my screen. I undo first. Control Z to undo. Okay. Can you see my cursor? Can you see my cursor? At the layer 2? Okay. okay. I bring my cursor down in between the layer 2 and layer 1. Somewhere around here. Then I press alternate. You see, when I press alternate, I can see there is an arrow there. Click your mouse. That's it. Yes. Oh. It's a trick. Huh? <laughs> ah, can. <coughs> can, Kavita. Okay, it's a clipping mask. The method called clipping mask. Clipping mask. Okay, who else uh, didn't get it? Anyone didn't get it? You want to share your screen? Okay, great. My background is not white. Okay, no problem. Okay, I will change the background color now. Yes, easy. Share your screen. Easy first. Are you there? Do you want to share your screen or not? Oh, Mugilan? Mugilan, can you share your screen? E Z Z Y, easy, easy, right? Okay, Mugilan. Okay. Uh, what version are you using, by the way? Gillen. Uh, so how to check the version? Huh? How do? How to check the version, sorry. Uh, you go to help, help. Okay, help. And then about Photoshop. About Photoshop. Hmm. Photoshop. Uh, this is CC. This should be okay. Fine. Okay, close it. All right, and then, okay, can you see on top there, there is a button show transform control. 
Okay, this okay, this Uncheck. one. Uncheck, uncheck that. Okay. I don't know why I don't like it. <laughs> All right, now you go to layer two. Okay, okay. bring your cursor down. Uh, don't drag, don't click, don't click. Okay. Control Z, don't click. Okay. Bring your cursor down a bit. In between the layer, press alternate and click. Uh, okay, before that, I need to select layer two, then I shouldn't drag, right? No. Okay, press control, then I'll just bring Not the control, cursor. alternate. Yeah, alternate. Then click, click, click. That. Okay, got it. Okay, thanks, sir. Okay. Uh, how about the rest? Coach, how can I enlarge the, the photo of the board? Eh? Can. You just select the layer, press Ctrl T and adjust. Ctrl T and adjust. Eh? Mm. Uh, who else? Christy, who wants to share your screen? Coach, coach. Uh... Can I share my screen, please? You are done, right? No, but, but I want to adjust the screen, but cannot share, cannot adjust. You see this part? At the bottom there, there is this thing. I, I, I need to enlarge this uh, both sides. Uh, okay, share your screen now. Okay, share now. Already share. Uh, yeah, yeah. You want control? Uh, are you sharing your screen now? Yeah, already shared. Oh, uh, so sorry, so sorry. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, press you Control see, T. Yeah. Uh huh. Control T. Control Tanzania. Yeah. Control T. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Control already. But I can't see. I want to close this big book. That's the reason I want to enlarge it larger. Okay. You go to Edit Free Transform. Edit. Free transform. Free transform. Um, uh, now you have. What did you press just now? Command T. You, you are using Mac, right? Yes, correct. Command T, not Control T. Command T. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Now you can make it bigger. Okay, I got it. Thank you. And you can move it. Yeah. Uh. Can do word into picture, yes, the same method. Okay. Okay, okay, guys, guys, take a look, take a look now. For those who didn't get, same like how uh, Kavita did, right? Uh, where is my Photoshop? You just right click on the layer and then you choose. Oh, uh, one moment, one moment. Clipping mask, okay. Okay, so let me just uh, remove this. Okay, you right click on this layer two, and then you choose clipping mask. Done. Yes, nice. Can or not? Okay. Okay, one minute. One minute, guys. Okay, how about the rest? Looks nice. Okay, shall we proceed? Yes, please. <clears throat> okay. Okay, here, the face, right? Okay, I want to show some of the face area. Okay, so what I do, I select this layer two. Okay, select the layer two and then use eraser, E for eraser. Okay, and then I adjust the opacity to a lower value from the top here. 
and then adjust the brush size as well. Let's say I reduce the brush size a bit, and then I paint on the face area. Okay, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. You see now we are seeing part of the image a bit now. Okay, so reduce the brush size a bit, paint some more. Okay, something like this. Can you see that? It is now blended with the uh, background here. Got it, guys? Got it. Use eraser, adjust the brush size, reduce the opacity, and then you start to paint on the face. Make sure you select the layer two, and then click and drag. Okay, Ken? Yeah, I can repeat that. Uh, let me just undo back. Okay, I already undo. Okay, I go to the uh, eraser tool. Okay, eraser tool, shortcut is E. When you press E, you will get eraser. Okay, after that, you adjust this opacity. On top here, the tool options, okay, click the opacity arrow, you lower down the opacity to about 30, okay, and then make sure you select the layer two, adjust the brush size, make it bigger or smaller, okay, and then you start to paint on the face area, something like this, okay, you just keep on painting again and again, okay, try now. Uh, Shahrin, I'm getting lines, not a brush. Choose eraser, E for eraser. Can you share your screen then, Shahrin? <clears throat> Can you hear me? Okay, to increase or make it uh, the brush size smaller, you use the shortcut key below the backspace button, the bracket, the open and close bracket below the backspace button in your keyboard. It will increase and reduce the brush size. Sir, can I share my screen? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Somebody else is sharing their screen, right? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. your uh, sharing, sharing, stop, stop, stop. Undo first, control Z. Okay, your brush, can you see the 300 there, up there? 300. 300. Okay, click the arrow there. Uh -huh. The hardness, you reduce to zero. Hardness, reduce to zero. Okay, cool. Now you start to paint again. Make your brush size slightly bigger. Bigger. Okay, paint. Okay, let go and then paint again only on the, on the eyes and the nose area. Let go your mouse and then paint again. Let go your mouse, paint again. So that you get a gradient color there. Okay? Can or not? Uh, Siu Hua, can you share your screen now? Oh, yes. Uh, I know how to do it do already. You just shown. Just okay, now. okay. All right, all right. Uh, all right. Great. Okay, thank you. Got it, got it. Thank you so much. All right, all right. No problem. Okay, now um, we're going to open another texture for a background. Uh, I, I don't think so. How many images do you have when you download the file? Three. Three. Okay, you go to online now. Online? Yes, go to Google. Okay. Oops. And then you type free uh, pixel.com. 
P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Pixels.com. And then you search for uh, paper texture. P-E-X-E-L-S.com. And then you search for paper texture. Done. Okay. You choose a nice image, something like this. Let's see if I have anything else or not. Okay, let's say I choose the first one. Lah, huh? This one, the brown color paper. Okay, click on the brown color paper and then choose free download. It will start to download the file. Can you do that? Okay. And then open that image in your Photoshop. Open the image in Photoshop. Open. The rest of you, have you downloaded the image? The rest very quiet today. Yes. No, no, no lunch yet, I think. <laughs> we are focusing on the work. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, correct. After you download, you open, uh, go back to your Photoshop, and then you go to File Open. Okay, go to File Open. Okay, the file that you have downloaded, it will be in your download folder. Okay, in your download folder, you will find your file that you just downloaded, and then click Open. And then use your move tool, same like previously, use your move tool, click and drag, bring it to untitled one, bring your cursor down, and then you let go your mouse. Something like this. Shahreen, where were you? Shahreen, Shahreen. <laughs> okay, you have to go to Google, you use your browser, Firefox, Chrome, or uh, Internet Explorer, whatever, and then you type pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. And then you search for paper texture. Then you download the image. Understand or not? Okay, up to here, it's done. Let me know. Done. Uh, Alex, done. you are senior already. Yeah? <laughs> okay. You are not counted. You are not counted in. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so once you have placed it here, right, you press Control T or Free Transform, go to Edit, Free Transform. Okay, you bring your cursor to the corner and then outside from the image, you will see a banded arrow. Okay, you will see a banded arrow. Click and drag and then you press shift key. You press shift key and then you rotate this so that it becomes portrait size, something like this. And then you make it bigger so that it will fill up the entire space, something like this. And then to apply the transform, you press enter. Okay, if yours become uh, automatically clipping mask, right? You again, you press alternate click at the image there. Between the layer, press alternate and click. Okay. Okay, so uh, you go to right click, 
release clipping mask. Okay, release clipping mask, and then you get back normal, and then make it bigger so that it fill up the entire space. Then you try with changing the, um, let me see, uh, let me see what we can do. Background, not nice. If I put overlay, nice so. Nope. Let me see if I can change this. Can I? Okay, put back normal. You bring the layer into above the background layer so that you have this background color. Uh, which one? Which one? You want me to repeat? Sir, how to rotate the paper texture? Let me undo this, huh? Okay, once you have this image, right, you press Control T or, or you, what you do, you go to a uh, rotate tool. Uh, what is the rotate tool here? Let's see here. Uh, go to edit, transform, rotate. Okay, here, much easier. Okay, if you go to edit, transform, and then choose rotate. Okay, edit, transform, rotate. Uh, sorry, make sure you select your layer. Sorry. Uh, edit, transform, rotate, and then you'll have uh, this uh, uh, arrow here. Can you see my arrow? Yes. Okay, you just click and drag from the corner while pressing the shift key. Press shift and then click and drag. Okay. Then press, uh, then make it bigger from the corner. You see, when you when you are in rotate tool, you can't make it bigger. Okay, mm. so that's why I always use the free transform. Okay, then you press enter first, then you press control T, then you make it bigger. Okay, to apply, press enter. Mm. Okay, okay. Bring your layer three below layer one, something like this. Okay. Mm. Ken? <coughs> Let me try, yeah. Mm Okay, how to bring the three below one? Okay, take a look, take a look. On your layer, now my uh, layer three is above everything. Okay, click on this layer three and while clicking, you bring it down, bring down. Just drag and then you let go when there is a blue color of, uh, uh, line there, you let go. Okay, done. Okay, Christy, uh, can you share your screen? Christy, can you share your screen? Cancel this, okay. No, you don't search for paper texture in Google, but you go to pixels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Go to open new tab. Okay, type P-E, P-E, not P-I, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Enter. The first result, enter, uh, open. And then you search here, paper texture. Enter. The second image, click free download. It is downloaded in your download folder. Now open Photoshop, file open. Yeah, the first one. I think it's still downloading, is it? 
try again again sorry open again no no no, no. open photoshop file open mm -hmm. yeah the first one i think yep drag and drop into your untitled one using the move tool yes Mm -hmm. Yep, press Ctrl T from the corner outside the more, some more, some more out, some more out. Yes, click and drag while pressing the Shift key. Okay, now make it bigger. Escape, escape, press escape in your keyboard. Ctrl T again. Okay, rotate. Some more. Okay, let go your mouse first. Let go your mouse first, then only you let go your shift. You understand or not? No, no, you have to escape and then uh, do it again. Control T. Rotate while pressing your shift key. Let go your mouse first, then only you let go your uh, shift okay then make it bigger from the corner you drag mm -hmm. just drag yep okay make it fill up the entire space some more bigger bigger also doesn't matter bigger a bit ah, okay up there on the top okay done enter move your layer three below layer two Mm -hmm. Yep, done. All right. Okay, who else? When I move, it keep grouping. Okay, I manage. All right. Okay, before we proceed, shall we take a short break? 10 minutes? Yes, thank you. Okay, great. Okay, reha, reha. Makan, makan, minum, minum. Ah, jom. Zoom. Okay, we'll uh, meet back at 3.48. Okay? Uh, person now, what is the problem? Person uh, yes, Coach. There? Yeah. Coach, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can. Hello? Yes, can hear you. Ah, okay, Coach. Uh, uh, I just finished my first layer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not good in the masking and all that, so I... I'm doing the old old method by using the eraser. Mm. Okay, uh, by and uh, by clipping. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'm coming to the second layer. Mm. So uh, I already put it into the first match match with the first layer. But how to uh, make how to do like how you did how you did? Can you share your screen? Okay, I'm uh, using phone and a uh, PC. Oh, uh. You need to log in to Zoom using the PC also. So that you can share your screen. Oh. Okay, my PC doesn't have a cam. It's okay, no need camera. You just log in using your PC then so that you can share your screen. When you talk, you talk with your phone. The PC is for you to share your screen. Okay, okay, I'll get back to you. Coach. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Zinyi Ui, can you share your screen? Uh, I have to, uh, I have to on the zoom as much. Yeah, yeah, you have to click the link that I gave you using your PC. Okay, Zinyi, you go to layer one. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Zinyi, click on the layer one. Then use your eraser. E for eraser. Make your brush size bigger. Make your brush size bigger.
use your bracket below the backspace button. Below the backspace button, there is a bracket, right? The open and close bracket, the square one. You click that to increase the size. Some more, some more, some more, some more. Ah, can you see that? Okay, uh, lower down a bit, smaller a bit, smaller a bit. Okay, now reduce the opacity. Yes, you already reduced. Then just click and drag on the face. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Undo back. Okay, can you see up there 700? The brush size 700. Uh, click the arrow there, small arrow. Mm -hmm. Reduce the hardness to zero. Mm, now paint again. Okay, you are actually erasing the green color. Okay, let go and then paint again on the eyes and the nose area. Okay, can? That's it. Okay, Kanna, can you share your screen? Okay, so what is the problem? Okay, bring your layer two above layer one. Okay, select the layer two, right click, choose clipping mask, create clipping mask. Mm -hmm. Now choose eraser, E for eraser. Make your brush size bigger. Some more bigger. You see, when you use that, you can't see how big your brush is becoming, right? So that's why you need to use your shortcut key. Okay, something like that. Reduce the opacity to 30, 30. Click back the brush, the 400 there, the arrow. Reduce the hardness to zero. And then paint on the face. Yeah, make your brush size slightly bigger. Why you don't want to paint on your on the nose, on the eyes, on the mouth? That is your face, right? Okay, okay, up to you. Lah. Then let go and then paint again. On the front part of the face only. Front part of the face only. Okay, let go and then paint again. Okay, stop. Then you open the texture uh, paper and then you drag and drop into your document. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing now. Uh, okay, guys, take a look. Everyone, please take a look for a while. Okay, here you see, let's say you, are, you have brush, right? And then you want to paint, okay? You reduce the opacity to lower value. You paint, okay? So I change back to uh, brush and then soft brush. Okay, you see I paint, uh, sorry, reduce the amount and then increase the brush size. Okay, when you paint, right? You paint again, you paint again, it will become uh, uh, darker, right? Same like how you erase. But if you want a gradient, okay, you paint like this, and then you paint again somewhere around here, and then you paint again here, you paint again, only the certain part. You see, you have gradually, you have from dark to a lighter color, something like this. Can or not? Can you see the difference? Yes. Okay, that's how you need to erase. All right? Yeah. Same like how you use your brush. So first you select a bigger area to erase, then a smaller area, 
then smaller area, then smaller area. Okay, then you get a smooth gradient. All right. Okay, let's let's continue now. All right, this uh, layer two, right? Okay, so it is uh, the image is entirely visible. Okay, so if you want to reduce the opacity, also can. Okay, so for example, you see when I reduce the opacity, you see the the the, the body part of the person. Okay, so maybe not not fully. So maybe I increase a bit to about eighty percent, eighty five percent, something like this, so that you can see some of the uh, the body part as well. That's number one. And then let's say I want to adjust the the color of this person. Okay, I don't want it to be so uh, what we call uh, not so high contrast. So I select this layer one. Okay, select the layer one, and then I go to image adjustment. I go to uh, let's say level. Okay, I go to level, and then I increase this uh, what we call this triangle shape here, the one on the left hand side. Move it a bit to the right hand side, number one, and then the one on the right hand side, move it to the left a bit. Okay, why I'm doing this so that I get more contrast on this face. Okay, so if I press OK now, you see this is before, after. Can you see the difference? Before, yeah. after. What, what did you press before and after, coach? Control Z, Control Shift Z. Okay. Undo and redo. Uh, okay, Prasanna, can you share your screen now? Uh, Samuel, one, one moment, huh? Samuel. Uh, share how coach from the PC or from the phone? From the PC, from the PC. Can you see there is a blue, uh, green color button, share button? Yes. Green color button. Uh, I already press yes. Share. Share. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, it's loading. Okay, all right. I can see that. Okay, now layer two, right click. Uh, layer two. Oh, okay, this one. Layer two, layer, layer. Go to your layer. Oh, layer, layer. Okay, layer. layer panel on the right hand side. On the right hand side, down. Can you see background, layer one, layer two? Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, layer two, right click. Uh, layer two, right click. Create clipping mask. Aha, uh -huh, it's here. Okay, the problem is, okay, the problem is your layer one, it is not transparent. It is white color, the background. So you mean to make it transparent? Ah, it's supposed to be transparent. When you use eraser, right? You have to make a layer copy, then only you erase. So that means I have to go and open a new file and uh, make uh, it hang on, transparent. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me show you. Can you allow me to control? Uh, okay. Oh, I, I have to approve. Uh, sorry. All right. Okay. You see the the previous uh, file. Let me see uh, this one. Okay. This image, right? When you erase, right? You are erasing, but still you have white color background. All right. So yeah. you're supposed to make a copy uh, of the unlock. background first. Then oh. only you erase. You see, I turn uh, off the background. Now oh if I God. erase, it becomes transparent. Uh, how about how about uh, without creating a layer, I unlock the background? Can can also you double click the background to make it as a layer one? Okay, so double click the background, and then you click OK. Okay, and then you start to erase. Also can. 
Okay, but it won't affect the picture. Ah, uh, of course. That's why I ask you to duplicate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Huh. Duplicate the background first, then only you erase. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Understand, understand. Okay, so you erase the layer one, then only you bring it to your untitled document. You see now, this is solid. This layer one is solid here, white color. So you're supposed to erase this. Okay, so I just uh, roughly erase this. Okay, something like this. Then if I turn on back my this layer, it will be loaded inside here. I see. Okay. So now the shortcut, what you can do is, uh, let me undo back. Since you already erased, right? You can use your magic wand and then select the white color and then press delete. Okay. Magic, uh, magic, magic van. Yep. This one. Okay, yeah, magic van tool, yeah. Okay, and then you can use it now. Okay? Okay. All right. Then you can continue by erasing the layer two of it. Erase this, uh, the front part. Okay? Front part? Of the face. Face. You erase a bit on the face. Using the eraser tool. Uh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The layer two, you erase on the face so that you can see the face. Okay, coach. Okay, to adjust the level again, okay, select the layer one. You go to image, adjustment, level. Okay, there are three buttons here. One is the for the shadow and the highlight. Okay, the shadow part, you bring it to the right-hand side. The highlight, you bring it to the left. Something like this. Then you will see more contrast on the face. Okay, can guys? Can I not? Sir. Yep. Can I share my screen? Yes, please. Okay. This part, uh, how to do this one part? This part is very darker. Mm. Very dark. Uh. Yeah, this one. You see? Uh, you want some gradient, right? Huh. Uh, so you select the layer 2, like what I showed just now. Okay, let me, let me show you. Okay, I go to use my eraser. Okay, use eraser, select the layer 2. Okay, increase your brush size. And then lower down the opacity. You already lower down that. Okay, I go to zoom in a bit. Okay, I just paint it around here. Something like that. Okay, then paint again. A bit inner, inside a bit. Something like that. Okay, and let's say I increase that this to 100%. Okay, and front part, the nose, erase, the mouth, all erase. Ken, okay. is this your question? Yes, but the center point uh, got very dark color, center part. That's because how you erase <laughs> this. Oh. If I, if I click this again, can you see that? That's how you erase this thing. You see, it, it's a very straight line here. This area. Uh -huh. Very dark part you have erased here. That's why it become, suddenly becomes solid color. Oh. Okay. So when you are erasing, it needs to be very smooth. Okay. Mm, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank it's okay. You. You, can, you can repeat again. Try again uh, uh, after the class. Mm, okay. Thank you. See the difference, control Z and then control shift Z. Yes. All right. Now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some, uh, uh, make this image slightly darker on the edges. Okay. Or maybe brighter on the edges. All the edges, I want to make it brighter or darker. Okay. So how do I do that? 
I press control and click on layer one. When you press control and click on the thumbnail of this layer one, you will get back your selection. Okay, once you get your selection, okay, I go to select, I go to modify, and then I choose, uh, let's say I choose border. Okay, let's say I put there 100 pixel, something like this. Okay, and then go back, uh, sorry, not 100, maybe put more. Go back to select, modify, border, I choose maybe uh, 500. Uh, it says maximum 200, okay, never mind. 200, click OK. Then I go to select again, go to modify, expand. Expand the selection by, uh, let's say 200. So the selection will become bigger, something like this. Okay, after you have this selection, you press Q, Q for quick mask. Okay, and then I go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I increase the blurriness, increase the radius a bit. So something like this. And then I click OK. So once I click OK, I will have the uh, mask here. I press the Q button again so that I have something like this. Then I go to my layer two, okay, go to layer two, and then I go to um, image adjustment, let's say brightness contrast. Let's say I reduce the uh, brightness a bit. So you see when I reduce the brightness, it becomes darker. Okay, so maybe the line is quite thick. Lah, huh? So let me just undo back. Okay, let's say I'm going to leave it like this. Press Q and then go to filter, Gaussian blur. And then press Q again, select the layer two, I go to image, adjustment, brightness, contrast. Let's say I lower down this. So it will become darker on the edges only. Or maybe you want to make it brighter also can. Okay, something like this. Let's say I press OK now. And I also can adjust the color balance. Maybe I want it to be uh, orangey a bit. Okay, so I add the yellow color and then I add my red color. Shadow also same and highlight also same. Okay, so now you can see it is a yellowish color at all the edges. Something like that. Okay, let's say I'm going to undo back. Okay, I'll repeat again. Okay, so this one, I let me change to 100 first. Okay, let's say we have something like this. Okay, again, control and click. Control and click at layer one. Okay, layer one, you need to click on this box, the thumbnail. Can you see the thumbnail? You need to control and click at the thumbnail of layer one. Then you will get selection. After you get selection, you go to select, modify, border. Use maximum 200, then click OK. Can you do this first? Can you do this now? Then we'll proceed shortly. How to do? <laughs> Control select. click at the thumbnail of layer one. Okay, done. Go to select, modify, border. Select, modify, border. 200, okay. 200. Okay. Like order 200, okay. Okay, then. Then you press Q. Q is quick mask. Press Q. Oh. Okay, when you press Q, it will become red color. Something like this. Okay, Q oh, is... Q the, whole is, thing is the whole thing is red. Okay. Um... If the whole thing is red color, right? Okay, take a look at my screen. Take a look at my screen. Okay. Uh, yes, Kavita, it's supposed to inverse. Okay, if you go down here below the black and white color, yes. okay, there is a quick mask, uh, edit in quick mask. You double click that. When you double click, you'll get quick mask option. You choose ah. selected. Ah. You choose selected, then you click OK. Okay. Then you press Q. Press Q. Ah, now only okay. Okay. So now you have this red color. 
Then you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, filter, Gaussian blur. Okay, and then you increase the radius a bit. Increase the radius so that it becomes blurry. Let's say something like this. Okay, make the masking blurry, then click OK. If done, let me know. Okay. Okay, after Gaussian Blur is done, you press again Q. Press again Q. Okay, the selection won't be very clear. It's okay. Okay, the selection won't be there. It's okay, but it is still there because it just it's uh, too blurry. You can't see the selection. It is still there. Okay, mm -hmm. then you select your layer two. Select your layer two. You go to image adjustment brightness contrast. Mm -hmm. Select layer two. Go to image adjustment brightness contrast, and then try to. Reduce the brightness, maybe, and I try to increase the uh, contrast. Reduce the brightness, increase the contrast. Uh, Kavita, up to you how much blur you want to make it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So the value of the Gaussian blur is totally up to you how much blur you want to make. Yes, you can share your screen. Sharing. Your layer 3, why not big enough? Why got white color line? Yeah, this this not got stuck also. This not there. Okay, never mind. Okay, now okay, this is done. Okay, and then you press Q. The whole thing became red when I press. It's okay, Q. press Q. Okay. Okay, you go to uh filter blur Gaussian blur. Filter. Gaussian blur. Go back to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur, okay, okay sorry. Mm. Okay, and then increase the radius a bit. Increase the radius. Radius, radius. Can you see the radius? You have to click and drag the arrow, yeah. Click OK. Click and drag. Yeah, some more. Let go your mouse. Okay, click and drag again. Some more. Uh, okay. Click OK now. Press Q again. Okay, you have your selection there. Now select layer 2. Okay, go to image adjustment, brightness contrast. Mm -hmm. Lower down the brightness, increase the contrast. Increase mean positive value, reduce mean negative value. 
brightness reduce okay can you see that all the edges become darker okay okay some more some more move it to the left yeah click okay now all right something like that okay so now you can see all the edges has become darker okay that's number one and let's say i'm going to stop share now okay let the let the selection be there okay my selection is there i just hide the selection now i go to image adjustment color balance and then you try to put red color just an example only just take a look i put a maximum red and yellow okay i just keep on increasing can you see that what's going on okay the edges become reddish color okay so you don't have to put it a red color maybe not so much red reduce the red a bit reduce the red a bit so that it becomes a, some orangey color a bit okay something like this can or not try try go to color balance and then put some color maybe you don't want to put red and yellow maybe you want to put your uh, blue color and cyan color also can up to you sir where to hmm. find edit and quick mask button below the black and white color the foreground and background color below that my one uh no space already <laughs> <laughs> my two bar is too big or what uh, so you have to press q your resolution is uh, small your computer resolution is uh, small that's why you cannot see the, the tool there oh now my my image i already press q then i want to do layer 2 image adjustment Never mind, I continue. It's okay. okay. So, ah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I adjusted the color. Okay, it only affects the, the, the border, the edges there. Something like this. Okay, guys. If done, let me know. If the color balance is done, let me know. Okay, once done, you go to deselect. Go to select and deselect. Select, deselect. Deselect is to remove selection. Yeah, all done in layer two, but it up to you. You can try with layer three also. You can try with layer one also. Okay, but for now, I just showed on the layer two. Okay, after done, you go to select, deselect. Deselect shortcut is control D. Uh, okay, Philip. Noted. Thank you. Okay, have you deselect, guys? Yeah. Okay, then. Okay. Now we're going to create a new layer create a new layer from the layer panel there is a button for you to create new layer beside the dustbin can you see that create yeah. a new layer now uh, mine don't have don't have it sure uh, not no plus maybe different symbol now Oh, create a new layer. Okay, yes. There is. Done. Okay, create a new layer. We want to do some glow effect. Okay, we want to create some glow effect. Okay, create a new layer. Make sure the layer is on top, number one. Okay, and then we're going to use a brush tool. Choose your brush tool. Okay, and then make it about this size or maybe slightly bigger also can. Okay, something like this. 
Can you see my screen, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. So you change the foreground color to something like a dark uh, red color. Or maybe dark blue. We try with dark blue. Okay. Dark blue. Something like this. Wait, wait. Can, I see, can I see your screen? Can you see my screen? No. Cannot. Uh? Oh, okay, okay. 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 Right. You, you turn off all this visibility so that you can see clearly. Only left with the background. The rest, you turn off the visibility. Can you do that? Okay. Okay, turn off the visibility of our, all the other layer. Leave the layer 4 and the background on. Choose a dark foreground color. Uh, uh, it can be dark green, dark blue, or dark red. Okay, up to you. And then use a brush, something like this, and opacity change to 100 of the brush. And make sure it's a soft brush. Means you reduce the hardness to zero, and then you just paint, something like this. You just click two times or three times. Can you all do this now? Okay, done. Okay. How about the rest? Are you guys done? Okay, more than done somehow. Okay. All right. I'm going to continue now. Okay, then I choose a, a lighter color. Now, a lighter blue color. Something like this. Okay. I choose OK. Now, I reduce the brush size a bit. Reduce the brush size a bit. And then I click again on top of that blue, the earlier blue. Something like this. Click again three times. Okay. Is it done? The rest? So each each time press three times is it? Yeah. Okay. Right. And then again choose another lighter color, maybe about cyan color kind of thing, very light color, something like this. And then use a, a some more smaller brush. Click, click, click. And then finally, I use white color, use a bit a smaller brush some more, and then click, click, click. Okay, if done, let me know. Uh, Shan, can you share your screen? Shan? Yes, sir, Hulana. So, uh -huh. uh, like Click it's... on layer 4. Click on layer 4. Okay. And you need to use your brush. B for brush. Okay. Click and hold the brush tool there. Uh, Click this... and hold. No, not this that. Uh, Click and hold. Can you see brush tool? Uh, uh... That is brush tool. Uh, all right. Okay. Make it bigger. Okay, in the middle there, uh -huh. just click, click, click. Choose a lighter color, click, click, click. Make it, make the brush size smaller. Okay. Some more brighter, some more brighter color. Mm. No, 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 up, up, up. You move your pointer up, 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 some more, up, some more. Okay, yes. Smaller brush, okay, click, click, click. Okay, and then choose a different toning a bit. Okay, 
put there and then change your color, change your color now. Yes, that, that, that one, yes, correct. Move up a bit, maybe some more, okay. Good. Smaller brush, click, click, click. Then white color. White color, smaller brush. All right, great. Uh, Shaharin, what's the problem? Thank you, sir. Turn on your background. Shaharin, turn on your background layer. Turn on the visibility of your background layer. Got it or not? Okay, okay, I got it because I unclicked that as well. Okay, okay. Okay, once, once you have this right, Okay, now you turn on back your all your layers. Turn on your visibility of all your layer. The layer four blending mode, you change to screen. Layer four blending mode, change to screen. Then you use your move tool to move that point. Okay, now you have a, something like a glow kind of effect there. Do you move again? Before it on step before. Screen. Blending mode change to screen. Okay. Then. Then use your move tool to reposition this. To somewhere, somewhere uh, here. Okay. And then what I do, I press control T. I make it uh, like an oval shape. Something like this. Okay. And then I make it bigger. Okay, uh, wherever you want to put can lah. Because I saw from the original image, there is a bright light in the front there. Okay, something like this. And then I can try with uh, reducing the opacity also. Okay, maybe we don't want it to be so bright. Let me see uh, what we can do. <laughs> Or maybe I just put it up here. Okay, something like that. And then maybe I can put the title and this glow will be intersecting with the title. Okay. Can you scale it something like this, guys? When you're scaling, you press shift so that it won't be rounded size. What does that represent the same? Uh, some glow, la, whatever. La. Okay, so this glow effect, okay, you can apply for various uh, positions. Okay, so I actually duplicate another layer and then I make it smaller. From the layer panel, you will see normal. Select the layer, when you see normal, click the normal and then change it to screen. Uh, Sai Ramya, show which one, yeah? From where? Show again from where? The color into screen. Here, on the layer, layer four, select the layer four, can you see my screen now? Okay, by default, it will be normal. The blending mode will be normal. Okay, from normal, click, change to screen. Then only you can see the glow effect. All right. Okay, so here you see mine is like a one light streak here. Okay, that's because I duplicate another layer, the same object I duplicate, the one at the lower one, I press control T and then I make it very thin like this. 
Okay, so if you notice here, it's just one line here. Can you see that? Control D, a duplicate. Uh, control J. Control J. Okay, then. Mm, that's it. Then uh, use a transform, free transform. You scale down in a, a, a horizontally so that you, you become like this, one straight line. Hey, sir, I managed to get the circle screen just now, but mm -hmm. I can't make it into the world. Why? Yeah? The free transform? Or... Yeah, when you free transform, right, you press control T, you press shift key. You press shift and then drag from the top. Control key with shift, okay. Okay. Press shift and drag from the top. Okay, got it. All right. So let's scale both. Okay, got that. Okay, something like this. Then we're going to type the title now. Okay, any problem this part? The glow part? Because what is the purpose of you co copying the layer 4 copy? Okay, can you see this? Uh huh. Mine, this is oval shape, number one. I duplicate and then make it somewhat thinner so that it looks like a light streak. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, Sharon. Can can you share your screen? Mine is totally different. <laughs> okay, so if you remember, I told you start with a dark color. Uh -huh. Okay, and then your brush should be a soft brush. The hardness should be zero. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay. Hang on, uh, hang on. But this one also... Uh, make... What's that, Alex? This one also not bad. Looks like the movie, the same, right? <laughs> like the universe, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me see. This... Hmm. Can you see that? It, it doesn't blend so nicely. You have a darker color over here. Oh, okay. Right? Correct or not? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you shouldn't have a darker color here. Okay, that's one. And then you should put white color. Uh, the final color should be a white color. Mm, okay, so me. use your brush, slightly bigger a bit. Something like this. Okay, mm. and then I use, uh, um, let me see. Let's say I take another dark color. And then I choose another color. Okay, so sometimes if your, your color is a bit hard, right? Not smooth, okay? You can go to filter and then you can apply the blur effect. Okay, I go to Gaussian blur. Okay, to so something like this. Oh, okay. Then, okay. Then change your blending mode to screen. Okay. Then you press Control T. You press Shift key and then you drag. Okay. It will become 
like this. Okay. All right. After that, you enter first. You make another copy of the same layer. Control J to duplicate. The one at the lower layer. Okay, the one at the lower layer. You press Control T, and then you make it some more thinner. Like this, and from the width here, you uh, click and drag to make it longer. This one to make it thinner, you press Control T. Yeah, Control T, and then press Shift and Alternate. Oh, okay. Okay, okay so that both sides it will uh, reduce the size. Okay. Okay, so something like this. Okay, so this okay, now the second you, layer you created, you uh, press Control J, right? Yeah, Control J to duplicate the layer. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now I want you to go to type two. Okay, can you see there is a T there? Okay, the horizontal type two. Click on the type two. And then click on your document. Uh, what's going on? Hang on, I'm still loading. Okay, choose horizontal type. And then you click. And then you start to type your whatever uh, text that you want to put as your title. Any suggestion title? Guys? Mm. Deceptive. What's that? Deceptive. Be what? Deceptive. 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 This one. Uh, okay, let me reduce the font size. Let's say I put 50, maybe. This one is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you make all the okay. You see when I when I after I type, okay, after you type right, okay, and then you want to change the size, you click on the move tool and then you press control T, okay, and then you drag from the corner to adjust the size, number one, all right? So after you have a rough size, you press enter, and then if you want to edit the font or the font type or the size again or the color, you double click on the T in your layer. Double click the T, the text will be highlighted, then you change the font type from the top here. Okay, or you can also get the character panel. You go to window, choose character. Okay, I have a character panel. Let's say I want to make all capitalized. So I click this double T here. All right, then click back the uh, move tool and then I can reposition wherever I want. Okay, something like this. Oh. <laughs> Got it? Can you try? How to change the text color. Okay, double click on the T on your layer. The text will be highlighted. You will see there is a color on top here. You can change from here or from the character panel. Okay, click on this color and then choose uh, whatever color that you want. Double click is to edit the text. Text, correct, correct. Okay, make sure double click on the T. Double click on the T and then it will be highlighted. Then you make the changes. Got it?
can import the tax. Uh, what do you mean by import the tax? Flora? Uh, font. Uh, yes, you can go to Google, you type Google font, and then choose a nice font, and then you need to install that font. It says target channel is hidden when I try to type. Okay, you uh, maybe you didn't. Uh, okay, can you share your uh, screen, Zinyi? Uh, Samuel, hang on. Uh, I'll show you how to do a rainbow color. Zinyi, can you share your screen? <laughs> Uh, hang on, uh, hang on, I can't see your screen. Okay, my Zoom is lagging, I don't know why. Uh, Zinni, what do you want to do now? You can't type. Okay, because you are in the quick mask mode, you press Q. You press Q and then you type. Then you press Q. Q in your keyboard. Okay, now you type. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just type, keep on typing. Click the move tool. Click the move tool. Move tool. Can you hear me, Zinyi? Can you can you speak up, please? Jinny, are you there? <laughs> Can you hear me? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you so much. Okay, next. Uh, Sai Ramya, uh, can you show how to put picture into words? Okay, same like what we did earlier. Later, I'll show you again. How to change the stroke color? What stroke color, Kavita? Okay, found it. Okay, how to put rainbow color to the text? Okay, let's say for example, you want to put some rainbow color. Okay, take a look at my screen now, guys. Take a look at my screen. Instead of plain single color, white color or black color, whatever color, let's say you want to put some gradient color. Okay, so you use your layer style. Okay, select the text layer, the title layer. You go to layer on top. You go to layer style. And then you choose gradient overlay. Okay, choose gradient overlay. You will get a layer style panel. Okay, and then you have uh, this uh, gradient color here. Click on the color. If you have black and white, click on the black and white color. Okay, and then you will get this. Okay, over here, you have to change it to the rainbow color. Let's say, for example, the first color here, down here, there is a color. Double click the color. And then choose some, uh, let's say, blue color maybe. And then click at the empty area here. Just click to add color. And then double click. And then choose another color. Let's say I choose red color. And then click again, double click, choose yellow color. Okay, double click. And then I choose a green color maybe. Okay, I don't know what is the rainbow color. Huh? So I just simply put some color there. Okay, so whatever color. You can just keep on uh, putting the colors. 
Okay, so let's say I remove this one. I click and drag to adjust the position of these colors. Something like this. So you have a rainbow color there. Click OK first. Click OK. Now you can see it is applied. Some already have preset rainbow color, Coach. Huh? Um, rainbow color. Okay, older version, the interface is different a bit. Okay, you will see the rainbow color. The new version, you will see something like this. Let me see if I have a gradient. Neutral. Nope. Okay, this is like pastel color here. Nope. Cloud. Will be bluish. No. Nope. Green, orange. I uh, don't have. The new version, I think, don't have. But mine, okay. mine, mine have the rainbow color. What version are you using? CC 2017. 2017, yes. 2017 is will uh, be a bit different. Yes, you have that. Okay. So here, uh, when you're doing a professional work, right? Okay, school children, of course, they want a rainbow color and then a green color, red color and all that. Okay, but when, when you're doing a movie poster, it should be, you don't put a rainbow color there. You, you put a very minimum color on the text. All right. So, for example, I put a, like uh, maybe uh, two colors. All right. I click and drag. I make it a very light gray maybe. Okay. Double click the color. Choose a light gray. Click OK. And then the other color, double click. I'm going to choose a, a white color. So, you see on top here, I have a very light gray. At the bottom, I have a white color. If I want to swap the color, right, exchange the color, I'm going to click OK first. I have this uh, reverse. Okay, when you reverse, it will uh, arrange in an opposite direction. Okay, and another thing, if you notice, here dark, this side is uh, bright color. So instead of that, I change this direction to 90 degrees. So on top is white color, at the bottom is dark color. Okay. You still have some gradient there, but very light. Uh, okay, Flora. Okay, how to put image as your color? Okay, so let's say I, I bring in some other image. Okay, let's say I open the green color background. Okay, whatever background. Lah. Let's say this city color, maybe. Okay, open your image. Drag and drop your image into the untitled document. Let's say, for example, this image. I click and drag using the move tool. Click and drag to the untitled document. And then I let go. Oh, sorry, not here. Okay, here, let go. And then I zoom out. Okay, it's still loading. Why? Yeah. Okay. I have my, my image here, and then I put the image above the text. Remember, we do clipping mask. Select the image, you can right click and then choose clipping mask. Okay, so once you've done that, okay, why it doesn't appear? Ah, okay, because my layer style is overlapping with the image, I need to turn off the uh, effect the layer style all right after that i select the image and then i adjust the position or the scale of the image okay can you guys see that okay or maybe i reduce the size maybe something like this Okay, you can try that. Anyone got question on this? Yeah, because we have been using for a few hours already. Okay, it will start to lag. You need to save your file, exit uh, Photoshop, and then you have to open back. Okay. All right, 
So this one, I'm going to bring it up. And I don't want this image. And I turn on back my system. Okay, now you see our glow is like bluish color and then the edge also blue color, but the background is like orangey color. So I don't like this uh, brown color. So what I can do is I can select the background paper color and then go to hue and saturation. And then you can change the hue and saturation. Try to change it to a different color. Okay, you can do that if you want to. Or, or you can go to color balance you increase some uh, blue a bit, uh, cyan a bit. And then highlight also same, increase some cyan color, increase some bluish color, shadow also same, increase some blue, increase some cyan, something like this. So I have a different color for the background. So it's, it's totally up to you guys, huh? what you want to do. My first layer, when I want to resize, the whole wording will go missing. My first layer, first layer. Uh, can you share your screen, Shahreen? Shahreen? All right. Uh huh. What do you want to do? Okay, when I click the deceptive, right? When I want to resize it, it keep going uh, missing. Use your move tool. Use your move tool. Which one? Oh, this move one. Move tool. Mm -hmm. And then okay. press Control T. You haven't select the move tool yet. Okay, press Control T. and then drag from the corner. You wanna make it bigger, right? Drag from the corner. When you see there is double arrow, click and drag. Okay. Then enter. If you want to apply, press enter. Oh, no wonder I I not keep, uh, I didn't press the enter, so it keep goes missing. It gets smaller or something. Oh, I see, I see. You have to press enter to apply the transform. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay let me share my screen. Okay, the layer, uh, where should I find the hue and saturation? Image, adjustment, hue and saturation. Oh, look at this. Okay. And mm -hmm. gradient. Okay, how to apply the gradient effect again? Let me just remove the effect now. Okay, the text layer. Okay, select the text layer that you want to put gradient, right? Select the text layer and then you go to layer, layer style, gradient overlay. Layer, layer style, gradient overlay. Okay, and then you click on this gradient. Okay, if you click the drop down arrow here, you can choose basic. Okay, so you can choose a black and white or a transparent or whatever. Or if I go to blue color, I have more colors. Or you can click on the color itself. Click on the color and then you choose a different color. Let's say, for example, I want to use the color which is from the image itself. Okay, select this first color. I click on his uh, skin area where it is dark. Something like that. Then the second color, click on the second color, click on the brighter uh, skin part. And then the third color, choose the most brightest area on the skin. Okay, you can see this color is actually coming from the skin color. Okay, just an example only. Lah. Okay, you, if you want to change, you double click, you put a red color maybe, click OK. The second color, remove, 
the, the second color here, change it to maybe let's say yellow color. Okay, this one should supposed to be red. Okay, something like this. All right, then you click OK, OK. To change the angle of the, the gradient and all that, okay, you change it over here. Change the angle, and then maybe you don't want a linear, you want a radial type. Okay, you can do that. Okay, so let's say I put the linear, and then maybe 45 degrees. Sorry. The angle change to 45 degrees or whatever angle that you want. Can I not, guys? To change the layer color, must choose background layer first. Uh, which one? Uh? I don't get it, Kavita. Uh, just now, sir, uh, the background, the layer, right? You change color, that one is the background layer, is it? The paper texture. Oh, the paper texture. Okay, okay, right, right. Huh? Okay, done with the text. The background, I add some contrast a bit, make it slightly darker. And the person also make it slightly, um, sorry, the layer two, make it contrast a bit as well. Okay, and the person also try to adjust the level a bit. something like this okay so now let's say you want to put some more uh, text okay let's say you have a like a paragraph where you put your uh, credits at the bottom whoever the actor the director whatever name okay i'm going to choose the horizontal type tool okay and then i'm going to click and drag when you want to do a paragraph kind of text you have to click and drag Okay, after you click and drag, okay, you will have some sample text there. Reduce the font size. Okay, let's say I'm going to put font size about 15. Enter. Okay, I have my text here. In my character panel, I need to make some adjustment here so that I have more text. Select all the text. Control A to select all the text. Copy. Control C. And then I paste, paste, paste. Okay, so that I have more text. Something like this. Okay. Click and drag to draw the text frame. And then you will have some sample tag. If you want to type the text, you can type. Or you can use the sample tag as your text also can. The temporary text. Something like this. Click and drag and then? Reduce the font size. Please use the font size to, to 15. One five. Okay. And then the sample, how to get the sample text? It will be loaded automatically in new version. Older version, so sorry, don't have. Okay, so you have to type manually. Just randomly type something there. Yes, sharing. Uh, why does mic come like that, uh, the background? Why is it showing like that? Like, like cha -cha a bit. Cha -cha. Because you haven't completed your text yet. Also, oh, it's normal. That's what, this now remember when I told you that you went missing? It was like that. So I thought something wrong. Okay, 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 okay. So here I'm supposed to type and then, oh. Uh, 
Okay. Yes. Okay, this is like total blue. Okay, once you complete, you click on the move tool, then it will be normal back. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. highlight all the text, reduce the size to 15, and then copy paste the text. Change the size to 15. Copy paste. Uh, control C to copy. Select everything. Control A first. Press, press Control A. Change the font size to 15. You click and then you type 15. Also can. Okay, it's okay. Then copy. Copy the text. Control C to copy. Then paste three times. Is it pasting or not? Have you copied or not? Control C to copy and control, control A first. Select everything and copy. Copy now. Control C and then click only. Click one time. Then paste. Paste. Are you pressing the Control C and Control V or not? Control A, right? And then mm -hmm. Control C. Are you pressing the Control C? Check your keys. Yeah, Control C. Okay, Control V. Control V. Something you didn't to... copy. You didn't copy. Control, Control, not Shift C, not Alternate C. It's yeah, Control. control. Control A, uh, Control A, and then Control C. Mm. And then Control V. V, V, Vietnam. Okay. Uh, what did you do wrong just now? B. B, uh, boy. Uh. B for, uh, papaya. Oh, P, okay. Okay, it's supposed to be B. Control C, Control V. Okay. Paste okay. again, paste again. Yeah. Mm, yep. Okay, then you click on the move tool and then adjust the position and the scale also can. The one on the top, lorem ipsum there, please delete the text. Delete the layer. Select the layer and press delete. This one. Yep, correct. Yes. Okay, try to zoom out. Control and zero. Ah, then you move the text down. Mm. Okay. Control T, make it slightly bigger maybe. And your background, right? The, the texture, the paper. Mm. Select that layer, press Control T, make it slightly bigger. Layer three. Mm. Press Control T. Oh, B. T T Thailand Thailand. Control T. Mm -hmm. Make it bigger a bit. Ah okay. 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 Then so that you don't see your white color there. Then enter. Okay. 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 Okay, this looks nice. <laughs> okay. okay, so we are almost done here. Okay, so any other text, any other icon, or whatever, you can add on. Okay, now we're going to save our file. To save the file, you go to File, Save. File, Save. Okay, you will get a PSD, Photoshop format, by default. Why? Because there is a lot of layers there. Okay, you just give a name for it. Let's say I just simply type a poster, maybe poster 03. Okay, and then I save it in my uh, wherever location. Lah. You choose your location where you want to save your file. Then click save. Okay, why PSD? So that in future, you can edit all your layers. You can edit all your tags again. Okay, so when you save the, uh, what we call uh, PSD file. 
after you save the PSD file, you go and save again. Go to file, save as again. Okay, it is still saving because the file is quite big. Okay, it is still saving. Okay, saving is done. Then I go to file, save as, and then I choose JPEG format. Okay, save as type, change it to JPEG. Okay, change it to JPEG and then click save. And then you will have a JPEG uh, quality option. Okay, you increase to the maximum quality, which is 12. Okay, quality change to 12 and then click OK. That 12 means what, uh, Coach? Thanks. Uh, it's the quality, it's quality only. If you lower down the quality, right, you can see your image will become slightly blurry a bit. Then the okay. formation, baseline, baseline optimized, progressive, how? Uh, that one, I'm not sure. Not sure, okay. Yes. Okay, can or not? Save your file. Okay, done. The rest. So you have to save in two format. One is PSD format. That is your raw file for you to edit. And another file is for you to share to other people. Or you want to post to social media or whatever, you can save it as a JPEG file. Got it? Got it. Okay, any question? Before we end the class? No question. Okay, before uh, you leave, right, I want you to uh, help me to fill up this form. In the chat box, I put a form. Please click the link and then help me to fill up the form. And also, if you like the training, please uh, leave a review in the Google uh, review. Okay, there is a link for your uh, for the Google review also. Okay, can you please uh, fill up now? In the chat. Please help me to fill up now. In the chat, huh? Yes. I'm putting it again. Course title Photoshop. Ah, anything lah. What put Photoshop also can. Ah, uh, Samuel, what is it? I didn't see any folder. Samuel, you can unmute and talk. Oh, Tito, you must ah, uh, sir, you must scroll up. Ah, uh, scroll up. Okay, I'm scrolling up. Okay, scrolling up. Ah, uh, what is it? Uh, okay, I see your PSD file there. The one you have done, is it? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll check it out. So can you help me edit a little bit mine? Oh, why I want you to edit for you? <laughs> you want to share your screen? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, share your screen. Cost name, just put Photoshop. Uh, yes, what do you want me to do? Uh, Sorry, I'm, in it. I'm sharing. Uh, share again. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. What do you want to do? Can you help me edit the face a little bit? Edit face? Uh, what do you want to edit? What's wrong with the face? No, no, I don't want this one to see. I don't want to see the shirt a little. You don't, I don't want what? I don't want to see the shirt. You don't want to see the shirt. Uh. Yeah. Okay, you go to layer two. Select layer two. Increase the opacity. Okay, you already increased the opacity. I think you erased too much already. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, so you duplicate the layer two. Control J to duplicate. Control J again. Again. Another five more times. Okay, and then you press Control E. You select all the layer that you have duplicate, right? You select all the layer. Shift click. Uh huh. Press Control E. Control and E. 
Control E dan hmm. Control and E Elephant I already control E Okay, don't select the layer 2 Control click the layer 2 Now control E Alright Okay, so you remove the layer 2 Select the layer 2 and erase Erase, erase Delete, delete in your keyboard Okay, select the layer 2 up there Copy, uh-huh That one you do a clipping mask Hmm. Okay. Yep. Ah, you don't see your shirt anymore. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Okay. Have you guys filled up the form? Done. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. Please uh, do leave uh, uh, some comment in the Google uh, review. Okay. Thank you so much for attending the training. Okay, yes, uh, I'll be sharing the video later, maybe tomorrow or tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow, I think tomorrow. Okay, so yes, in future, I'll, I'll be having more uh, session on different, different softwares. All right, and also uh, video editing using Photoshop. Okay, upcoming class actually. All right, great. Okay. An editor, a uh, video. Come again? Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, Photoshop, you can edit video. Okay, let me let me share a, a, a short video here. Let me one second. This is uh, actually quite old video, but it was done in Photoshop. Really? One sec, one sec. I'm, I'm finding the video. If Photoshop can edit video, then Premiere. Don't need other software, is it? <laughs> Premiere Pro will be affected. Ah <laughs> uh, no, simple editing lah. Simple editing. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, this the one. Okay, I'm putting in the chat box there. There is a link in the chat box. It's a YouTube video, but actually it's a 360 video. Okay, it was a 8K resolution image. Okay, so I couldn't uh, edit in After Effects. So I have to use Photoshop for that. Oh. Uh, that was a few years back. Lah. Okay, it's not a video, it's an image. Okay, and then I edited the sky movement and also I placed the TV screen. TV screen, it'll, there'll be a, some uh, Transformers movie scene. Done in all done in uh, Photoshop. The what editing is, part. What is a TV screen? In the video, in the video, you have to click and drag to watch the entire thing. Click the, oh 3D. Uh. Ah, it's a 360 video. Oh, that is classic, man. How to do that? We need to learn. Only 30 seconds, Johnny. Ah, what's that? Only 30 seconds the video. I can't hear you. The video is only 30 seconds. Yes, yes, of course. It's only 30 seconds. You have to click and drag the video. Oh, coach, you have to teach us, right? This one, coach. <laughs> Beautiful, right? It's an art, right? Yeah, the moving cloud and the video is done uh, using uh, Photoshop. Oh, that's the why. Uh, the rest of the part is actually a, just a plain image. It's not a video. It's an image, actually. Oh. But the TV is also image, uh, the screen and TV. Uh, that one is part of the 3D uh, scene. But oh. when I place the video on the TV, I use uh, Photoshop. Oh, that is nice, man. Mm. So, this. basically, you can edit video. Lah. A oh. simple editing, you can do that in Photoshop. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for attending today's session. Okay, hope you will practice. Okay, don't, if you just leave it like that, you will forget. Within two or three days, you will forget, definitely. I can assure you that. All right, so make sure you practice so that you can remember. Okay, okay and... Thank you.
Thank you so and much. And I'll share you the link for the WhatsApp group. Please do join and share your your whatever artwork to them. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very okay, much. Thanks. Thank Good you, guys. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks. Thanks so much. Bye, bye, guys.